So, I've decided that I'm gonna start this with a long rest. Uh, cause my guys are pretty fucked up and I don't want to waste a bunch of healing stuff on, uh, haste. everything. And I'm finally gonna take this little tidbit and I'm just gonna talk to everybody and go through all their dialogue options. Um, I've been fighting the idea of doing it for a while and I decided, you know what, why not? So, um... If you're not interested in this part, by all means, skip through. But if you are, you know, please hang around, see what happens. And uh, we'll get to the action a little later. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. So you knew more than you were letting on before. I hope you'll be more honest in future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. Why would Shar subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. Perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Damn. Other matters. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? But you to star worship or shar worship sorry she took me in when no one else would without her i wouldn't be alive she's my mother she nurtures me cares for me loves me don't believe the lies the salunites tell tell me something about yourself besides shar besides tadpoles what Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass them. It's a deal. Anything else you'd care to share? No. I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed, voluntarily, so that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Dad, your memories suppressed? That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Um, so all that I need to talk about with Shadowheart. Bolo, it's been a while. Ah, my good fellow. Yes, sir. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I know. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I helped with the parasite problem. Oh, God, no. 
Okay, he's not gonna dig my eye. Oh, he's gonna ask to? Fuck. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. No. Dipple. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Okay, so don't talk to Volo until he's got a different option. Till the next long rest? That sucks. Hey, you. How did you end up with a con such a contraption in your chest? The year? Ten air. The place? A sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero? Karlak. A not need delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zario. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. All right, I've done those other options already. You no, know Lazel. No, what? No, I'll ignore you. I don't give a shit. You wish to speak? I have to ask how much you know about the parasite. I studied one up close, closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me, and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but. Fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. The shadow curse you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. What about the secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Seems like you feel responsible for the Shadow Curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years. But to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. You know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. It can be easy surrendering your title. Won't you miss being first druid? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it or they have ill intent. 
I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. You're still faring well at camp, I hope? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. I'm coming, Will. Well met. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. After my exile, I was hunting near the Cloakwood. I heard a child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields, flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. How great could you be? I've never heard of you. I shouldn't be surprised. You are a great talent. When darkness falls, you make your own light. The helpless, though, they need the light of others. They're the ones who seek out the blade. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Part the hands of the devil, if I do say so. A freak of nature? No. I see the blade of frontiers no more and no less. A fiend who's been touched by the hells. I don't know what to make of it. I'll say this. I see the blade of frontiers. No more and no less. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Breathe. Um, I don't need to talk about that. Fate spins along as it should. Thanks, Withers. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Nope. Nothing new for him to talk about. What's on your mind? I was wondering that condition of Zeus. Why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. An eruption the size of Waterdeep, I think my exact words were. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. 
By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. At that moment in time, all magic was gone? For a spell. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If you ever feel that there's magic overtaking you, what will you do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. All right, so that's everyone. The sleepy I go. Seems simple enough. Does it? Does it seem simple enough? Now I can allegedly do all of this with alcohol. Yeah, I got the achievement. Great. We're hungover for 10 turns. You have disadvantage on dexterity and charisma checks. Oh my god. <laughs> Did we talk to each other? Hey you. Oh. Oh, we just all feel like shit. Oh, that's funny. Alright, uh, I guess leave camp. Everybody's all bubbly. Oh, that's funny. Creatures, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Shadowheart wants to talk? Oh, we'll get down here and then we'll chat. Alright, hungover's gone. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. Sure. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. This is a parasite. Let's do it. I don't remember how it started, only how it ended. I was fleeing. Oh, she's young.
Oh, is Shadow Heart a half elf? She asked my name. Can't remember what I said. Can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. That's all I remember. They failed religion. Damn. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shah. You feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Lost sworn as a child should be raised. Your mother superior must possess great wisdom. No doubt she feels the same way. Uh, your wound is causing you too much pain, Shadowheart. There must be a way to heal it. Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. Do religion? Oh, minus one. Does your wound pain to you in the wrong moment? It could be. It could cost us dearly. You're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. Okay. Lots of updates to Lady Shah. All right. So I need to go off to the right to that massive uh, thingy of poison. Well, that shit disappeared, so that's fun. The Dread Hollow. Whee! Now, how the hell do I get past all of this? The real question is, how did he get past all of this? Break myself from the party. Have everybody else sit here so they don't die. In case of my folly. Actually, I'm going to save and see if I can figure this out. Go ahead and save. All right. I imagine. Bad idea. Stop! Stop! Okay. Bibberbang! He's indeed surrounded by Bibberbang. The spores of those mushrooms are both toxic and flammable. This is quite a predicament you've landed yourself in. I know that! Scroll! Escape! My bag, please! I've dropped it somewhere! Hold up a scroll of Misty Step? Yes! That's. Yes! Can I throw him the scroll? Oh! Nice! I'm fine. I just have to. And then. Here! God. I 
can finally breathe. Ah, right, as, uh, what were you saying? Kind of death is she's waiting for you. Damn it. I must need to go for you. Your trouble. Ta. Roll of invisibility. Alright, check you later, big cheese. Now where would his bag be? I have a scroll of teleportation. Oh, I see the bag. Okay, actually, do I have another scroll of Misty Step? I don't even know what this shit looks like. Greater invisibility, potion of speed, dark vision, vampiric touch, speak to the dead, false life, dimension door, darkness, scroll of blindness, Increase bone chill, bestow curse. Uh, I guess I only had one of those. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Okay. I don't have another one. No, wait, he's got one. got two scrolls of misty step what is this though wait rotting basket looks like a shrine a couple oils some candles there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get back the power that is wait that where I go oh that's the that's the big bird thing I can go fight that I guess a hook horror target outside of normal rain we're gonna step up, guiding bolt, slap him. That motherfucker is scary looking as hell. Yo, with the fucking boom shaka laka laka. All right, so what I'm gonna do. I got the bow. The shoot. Yes. Okay, axe is out. Survival is all that matters. I only got five of those. Let's do. He was double damage to the undead. I don't think he's considered undead. Actually, I can look. God, you're ugly. Blind sight, dark vision, multi tack, uh, prone. Opportunity attack. That's good. Monstrosity large. Got it. All right. So that's not. It's not a viable option. So we'll just shoot the arrow fire. 
Not bad damage. Oh, I can just shoot again. Not bad damage. Oh, please don't have the ability to push. Oh, fuck. Okay, everybody got back up. Well, well. Climb up. Here. Swing. Swing. Nice. Take the hook. Why not? Light on my feet. So knowing that that thing exists, creepy. There's blood down here. I'm not interested in messing with the tree because that seems important. Under dark, the sus. The susser tree, Susser. Oh, there's another one. That means there's more in this direction, I would presume. I wonder if they're like protectors of the tree. God, you're ugly. I think. I'm gonna leave the tree alone. And I'm gonna go talk to the lady. Where's she at? Over here somewhere. my useless old man back didn't think the likes of you took to helping folk his hands are empty as a whole we'll have to send him back out soon enough um the miracle he survives you should take him home please balen has got a job to do we can leave when he's done it seems like no love between Lot. No, there's no love lost between the two of you. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Dangerous territory must be down here for a reason. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. What makes it so valuable? Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Can it cure Balin's memory loss? Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Oh, the weird deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. Thanks. Uh, does anybody not have nice gloves? Well. Oh, I forgot about that. Um Hey there. God damn it. Come on. There we go. up for discussion <laughs> i wonder if i can just sell her some of the shit we'll be clearing out soon enough you come across a noble stock mushroom about you give it here gods know i've earned it show me your wares i'm looking for the green axe 
gory. They didn't mean shit to me. And anybody else have anything that they don't necessarily need? Not really. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh. I thought I was wearing the barbarian clothes, not the parlax. Oh. Oh, because that's a... Oh, that's because that's her armor. I'm stupid. Such old idiot. God, she's such a bitch. I don't want to talk to Gith Yankees. Something I will do, though. I'll go this way. Try to get an idea of what's in this direction for the tree. It is a rather mystical tree. See if I can get an idea of what is this direction. The Dread Hollow. Looks like the root above. Oh no, that's just me going to the root. That's a carcass. Or something. Try not to fight anything like too big. I'm not seeing anything either. My mouse just pass over something? What the hell? Oh, it's a tombstone. What is that? Everyone failed it. Rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Oh! No! I'm gonna... What the fuck? I'm not gonna dig up a grave? Hell no. Alright, there was one more pathway. Oh, because that goes back to the front of Saluna's um, thing. I guess that's it. Now we venture off to the... Uh, to the tingy. Pray to God this doesn't go sideways. Better not be cursed. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. Oh, 
They aren't expecting more of you. Where's Gek? Who are you? Push the dragger into the water. Fuck you. Don't push me. Ooh. Ooh. That motherfucker, that cutie patootie's got opportunity. That motherfucker swings twice. Missed. Fuck yeah. Ow. Oh. Look, buddy old pal, I'm sorry. Whee! <laughs> God, that's such a beautiful thing. Take two. Some heals from your good old boy. I understand that I am ensnared. Concentration broken, no longer ensnared. Beautiful. From here. I don't feel the need to hit him big, but I want to hit him big. Makes me wonder. Can I get another one? Oh my god. <laughs> god, I love it. They hit him for 10. Can I push him off? Oh, I failed. Fuck. You're a bastard. <laughs> Blood mind struck. No. You piece of shit. I still missed. Fuck. Misty stepping. Oh God. Oh fuck. Oh my God. He got that idea from me, didn't he? He'll go over. He'll go over. Nah. Uh, oh. Ignis.
So, it's gonna be cheap again. Fuck out of here. Not enough action still. Ow. to 13 so it's a slightly wider range and then um after killing a hostile target or landing a critical hit That probably was a lot harder of a fight than it needed to be. It's ready to sail. They need a journey across the lake. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? I reckon diplomacy may be in order. The blade could use a breather. see the sergeant I have her boots that's so I you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head the Dwegar is not infected yet your minds resonate oh I'll be you're one of them cult freaks felt the tingle in that case let's talk business your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall Trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of gnome slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. 
You absolute shaggers owe us a crapload of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'm not giving you a single coin. Did you, did you say you keep slaves here? Deep gnomes, mostly. Easy to feed. Fat thumbs for digging. That's a problem for you. Got no use for slavers, including you. You'll work through it, Jarg. Now pay up. Don't got all day. I don't think you understand. I'm gutting you here and now. I'll choke the life out of you. Shit for brains. God damn it. Why would you hurt yourself? Why would you? Ah, oh, so much damage. High defense with a 20% chance. That's pretty ass. Okay. Is a knife? No. Wait, isn't that heavy? Yeah, it's heavy armor. Hmm. Well, I should unwind and count. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking that we should actually do the same. You'll be all right, Will. Just handing you some goodies. Uh, there's the armor. Okay. The folk leave something to be desired as well. Present company excluded, of course. Oh, hush you. Stop pushing for confidence. Yonder Dark Grim Forge. There's no conversations that I need to have because I've talked to everybody somewhat recently. Oh. Drop some weight. 